I have been officially through Man of Steel. And we all know how we felt about that. Batman v Superman. I understand. Oh, the issues with that one. Then came Suicide Squad. Don't forget, we're the bad guys. <sighs> Lord knows how we all felt about that one. And now here we are to Wonder Woman. And as to the common viewer, who is probably less critical or as kind as I, are probably really closing their eyes and crossing their fingers going, oh my god, please be good, don't be a romp like the rest of those films, I didn't like any of them, this is, this is it, this is our chance. And is it? Yeah, yeah it is. It, it's good. <laughs> it's good. Trust me, I, it's just pale. I'm just playing. Now let me be clear, I enjoyed Man of Steel. Minus the pacing flaws. I actually loved BVS, despite the story structure not quite living up to its expectations as we all wanted it to be. Even my own, but I learned to love it over time. And I even had a hell of a time with Suicide Squad, despite its convoluted plot. So when I tell you that this movie is good, I know that it's going to be hard to understand my opinion or even trust it. But believe me when I say that this is a solid origin story. Only Man of Steel was the one that was by itself for a time in this DCEU. All the rest of them had depended on other characters to build each other up, so it got a little convoluted at points to wonder really who to root for. Here, it's solid. It's in your face. We are watching Wonder Woman. Nobody else. And Steve Trevor, but he's kind of part of the point. But this movie is better at character development than its predecessor films. Much less of a time to justify the good parts and excuse the bad. Because I've had to do that for the last three films. Here, I don't have to justify squat. So there's no doubt that you've heard plenty of reviews out already and they're all saying it's great, it's great, it's great. It's I'm gonna compare the merits of the trailer to the movie. Did it convey enough excitement? And for those who are curious which trailer I'm going to choose, I'm going to do trailer two. I'm talking about the second one when they were really saying, okay, this is Wonder Woman. There's going to be a third trailer, don't worry, but this one's really going to convey the excitement. And that one was my favorite trailer out of all of them, so we're going to talk about the merits of that trailer. Did it convey each scene? Does it convey the movie? Does it work? So from the beginning, we get the scenes that kind of set up where she's at currently in France. But when we finally get into the origin point of the story, the trailer does a good job giving you the cliff note version while the movie just kind of gives you the elongated first act. That all really holds up well, minus a few awkward tidbits here and there that really come into the question of the performances of people. It's not a bad thing. It's just kind of, I was just sitting there kind of going, you're bringing me along. I just feel like the acting is a little hammy. Just a tiny bit. Not a whole lot, just a tiny bit. But what do you expect? It's, it's, this is the origin point of Diana. You get to see her as a cute little kid, eager to kick some ass and take some names. Diana's role models are kind of like, she wants to fight. We can't have her fight just yet. This is just, I don't want that. Uh-uh, cut that out. And of course, you know, that never really happens. When she grows up, she realizes there is something more to herself when the going went tough. You know that scene where she goes like this and everything? <laughs> just poof. For sure, that is where the turning point for her first act is going to go. And while that trailer did not give us that scene just yet, we do see the scene where, you know, the plane comes down and thus we have the biggest conflict for Diana. From the trailer into the movie, this beach scene is actually really good. I think that conveyed a really excellent, exciting, pivotal point for Diana. If not, the biggest realization for her is that there is a mortality for most of her friends and family. The trailer does set up the usual plot, like who's scheming behind the world war to really gain profit, not only profit, but to really gain success. And it's all to do with the gas, and you can kind of tell from this image, there's going to be a lot of explosions in this too. In the end though, that's not the entire selling point of this movie. In fact, there's a lot of heart. There's a lot of things that happen, especially when Diana and Steve go on their adventures together in London. That's where things really kick in. The awkwardness becomes its benefactor rather than its 
I'm gonna trip over myself a little bit and ooh, there I go again. I'm gonna tell you right now, this scene, when she goes out into the no man's land and actually takes a standoff against these people, I thought was downright incredible. I loved it. That's the kicking off its shoes and went, all right, let's get all down and dirty and let's get into Wonder Woman. It does take a bit to get to that point, but I gotta tell you, it's worth it because it gave me chills. I watched it and I'm like, that was awesome. Me likey, give me more. And give me more they did. Everything else in the trailer is a hodgepodge of little different scenes throughout and I'm not gonna even ruin the third act. All I can tell you is when the main villain really shows up, it gets good, there's sentiment, there's a real human emotion, even though Diana is a little naive in all of this, it works. The trailer really conveyed the excitement. The music for this trailer was really good too, so I felt like it was really spot on. Overall, the point of doing this is to really think, have you been cheated? When this trailer made it good and exciting and made you feel like you can actually invest some time into this, does the movie hold up as much as that trailer that left you with that impression? And the answer is yes. I walked out of this movie heavily satisfied. From the time that she was a little kid to the time that we see her now, I feel like I've seen a complete story arc. Like, I really think that this was kind of planned, that they didn't know that people were going to hate BVS the way they did, but to see Wonder Woman show up in BVS and do the things that she did and now see this origin story, it really adds more weight to her character. And I liked it. So overall, I liked Wonder Woman, and I would like to buy it on DVD. It, it, it just left satisfied, and that's okay. I don't mind not loving something. Liking it is just as good. I didn't really have many gripes to begin with, minus it being a little awkward in its start off, but that's kind of to be expected in a movie like this that has a lot of great tidbits that kind of need some really quick moments to say, okay, here we are, here we are, here we are, let's move. I also can't really lie, the villains are a little weak until the very third act where you actually get your big villain that needs to be. While I understand that you have these moments with villains that you see how they're building up their evil scheme and you know that they're going to be stopped eventually, you kind of don't get much motivation behind them. Minus one. And I just... I don't know. Villains are okay, so that was kind of my gripe. They didn't really set anything home for me. Only for the reason that that's the reason why Diana and Steve are going to go out and try and stop this war in the first place is because of the villains, obviously. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will get you more videos in the future, and until next time.